Hi, it's Rich at Marvelous Ministries. In this world today, we are so focused on the outward appearance. Everything that is shown or shared outwardly identifies people into certain groups, stereotypes, and it further divides us as a people. Discrimination, racism, bigotry, hatred, judgment, and so much more. See, if somebody has a wound on the outside of their body, a cut that creates a scar, most scars are the same color or very close when they start out because you start out with coagulating blood and usually scars are pinkish. And the further you go in, the deeper the wounds, the deeper the scars, the more and more they all match the same. They're identical. You see, it's the invisible wounds, the invisible scars that are identical, that are the same. It's not about color, race, gender, sexual orientation, religion or atheism, and so much more. The scars are things like rejection, abandonment, abuse, mistreatment, rape, murder, and so much more. And we even cause wounds ourselves when we look in the mirror and compare ourselves one to another. We compare bank accounts, housing, clothing, our bodies, and so much more. See, the emotional wounds and scars are the ones that control us and how we live our lives. It's what we think about ourselves. It's what we think about other people. It's destructive. It's divisive. and causes the most damage. But there is a cure. The cure for these invisible, hidden scars and wounds is love. If the people who cause these wounds would reach out to the people people that they victimized, they hurt, they wounded, they abandoned, they rejected, and so forth, they could bring healing to these scars and wounds that didn't heal properly. But if they would cover their wounds that they inflicted on other people with love, then these wounds would heal up with a much smaller, less sensitive scar or wound, and the healing would be as complete as possible. See, God's love can heal the best. And if we would love people the way God loves us, we could heal like Christ, like Jesus does. It would be better yet not to inflict wounds on other people. The only way to stop spreading the hurt, the heartache, the wounds, the rejection, the abandonment, and all these things is to stop treating people that way and to treat people with love, grace, mercy, and forgiveness. That's the only way to end it. You can't end hate with hate. You can't end discrimination with more discrimination can't stop divisiveness by continuing to form groups and clubs and political parties and so much more. It just ends up labeling people more and more. And more destruction and more division, divisiveness occurs. The only way to end these things is to treat everybody the same. We have the same laws that are enforced prosecuted, tried, and sentenced the same, no matter who you are. We take away the power of lawyers to manipulate, twist the law around. We 
get rid of statute of limitations and we make justice for all from the least to the greatest that is how we fix the world love, grace, mercy, forgiveness and to treat everybody equally treat everybody the same Amen.